this fight in this great Woodford institution. Thank you, I couldn't be happier. It is true, you cannot get what you want always, and it is good. And when you get what you want, often you no longer want it. Just ask Mick Jagger. Now, my dad, please don't laugh until the end because I've got a lot to say. Now, my dad used to say to me, Liz, darling, nothing is impossible with enough time and resources. And I'd go, really, Dad, can you build a ladder to the moon out of minties and climb there? And you go, yes, with enough time and resources. Maybe Dad was telling the truth, but so far it's turned out to be bullshit. Um, but he's led me on a wild goose chase for greatness, and hey, look, I started out with nothing. I still have most of it left. Anyway, so what do you want? Anyway, I would like to know, what do I want? Well, I'm glad you asked. Love without pain, wisdom without the trauma it's born from, world peace. Come on, the fun of fighting is in the making up. Just ask the Iraq. Um, if I could have what I wanted, any of us, could have what we'd wanted, we'd lose all the fuel for our fire, okay? Of course, we all want to stop war, okay? I know we didn't need to go to war in the Middle East. They could have just given us the oil, but, um... <laughs> wouldn't it be better if everyone would just hold hands and dance under rainbows? And, you know, Monopoly money was real and lemonade came out of every tap. Instead, I'm expected to swallow things like preemptive defence. Preemptive defence, that's when you start a war to prevent a war. I want humans to evolve out of our kill or be killed mentality. Everyone stay with me, there's dick jokes coming, okay? <laughs> it's about how well we live, not how long we live, and as if that's going to happen in my lifetime. Of course I can't get what I want. It's so ridiculous we are supposed to be sad when an American or an Australian dies overseas in the war and you know in the afghani war there was one american dying for every 50 afghans and i'm not talking about the dogs with the floppy ears <laughs> if i was there would probably have been more outrage anyway i want the government to stop bullshitting me with slogans like war on terror we're paying for a war on fucking terror with our taxes. Well, people who actually pay tax, anyway. Um, but the worst terror is always carried out by the state. Think Hitler, Pol Pot, Whitlam. I was checking if you're listening good. Uh, what's next? What are we going to have? The war on pain? The war on death? The war on bleeding? Fuck, it's like Pirates of the Caribbean. At the end of the world, Pirates of the Caribbean on the moon. The thing is, I would fucking support the war if Johnny Depp was in it. <laughs> Fuck, that is a good response. Thank you. We can edit that back onto that other joke. You hate it. Anyway, I want a wild orgy of anarchists sweeping the country like a bushfire. Yeah. I, I want to be able to fight my government with having, without having to face a six million dollar water cannon while being trampled by horses and stormtroopers with taser guns to get battened and capsicum sprayed for peacefully protesting. And I wasn't even one of the people up the front throwing urine either, no. I was up the back near the church groups and the school kids and the Falun Gong meditators and the fairy floss machine. And I want to be able to object to my government without having to face five days interrogation and incarceration. Sorry, um, sign girl, you rock. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, that's all I can say in deaf language, but um, if I had started having sex with mine, I would learn it more. Um, <laughs> seriously, I don't want to be able to have to fight my government and go up on sedition charges for five days incarceration without having the right to even call a lawyer or even my mum, not to mention another ASIO listing, all while I'm just on the way to Cronulla to buy some tabouli. Um, you're looking at me like, stop talking so fast. No, get on the crack and keep up. <laughs> I want to be free to say these things without being called a terrorist. Do you know why there aren't any women terrorists or many? Because the idea of 42 premature ejaculating virgins in heaven is not a draw card for the ladies. <laughs> anyway, I want Australia to stop mining uranium and selling it for medical purposes to India and China. Oh, look, India's okay. I know they've just run out of turmeric, but China! China! trust China with our uranium. Hello, it's not the people that are dangerous, it's the uranium. Hello. Even though we really know it's all about the size of their dicks, we're expert analysis 
scientists are predicting that America and China will be at war within 15 years over the last of the world's oil because apparently a billion people in China just got their license. Anyway, <laughs> China! China, we're selling uranium to China! Now, there's a government you can trust unless you like meditating. Horny um, note to self may be tortured in future. Um, you can imagine how this phone call is going to go in the future, though. Yeah, uh, g'day, uh, g'day, China. Hi, it's a mayor. Uh, it's Australia calling. How are you doing? Great. Uh, I'm just uh, wondering, uh, uh, can we get that uh, uranium back? Ah, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet. You will definitely get it back, though. ego-driven things that I'm attached to or attracted to because I've lost the connection to my own internal power. When I come to Woodford and live amongst... Sorry, I just spat on you, but we can get together later. We can give that back. When I come to Woodford and live amongst these beautiful people for a week, this is... this is, Heaven has been achieved, you know? I want this life all the time, but then I think about it and I think it would only be weeks and would be a thriving pile of nits and herpes. Um, <laughs> to myself what I want, let alone tell 2,000 people. I don't want to want anything because then if I get it, I'll feel lost without it. And then what if it's not meant to be mine? Anyway, I don't even actually want what I think I want. I want money, drugs, sex, a husband and kids. In that order. Don't tell docs. Um, if I had money, I'd just have to spend time redistributing it. If I had as many drugs as I could want, I'd be snorting cocaine. I mean, I'd be snorting prostitutes off piles of coke. And I'd be dead. And I'd want an aged care facility with a hooker pipe. That's one legislation I think Peter Garrett may actually pass. Um, I want to want to stop smoking pot, but if I can't be a good example, I'll be a horrible warning. Sex, let's face it, where will we, what we about doing when we're having sex and what we actually want to do are very different things or is that just me? Two ropes, a llama and a kettle? Um, <laughs> I met a guy last night at the amphitheatre he said I want to orally gratify you.
you can always get a souvlaki. Thank you very much.